Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback and I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It will greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for coming to my channel and seeing about my video. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? What's up with you? Much love. Thank you for the support as always. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much once again for stopping by and seeing about my video today. Today I'm listening to eight hours of Delta Wave sleep music, meditation, relaxation, soothing, soft music, 1195. I will put that link in the description box below. Listen to this, it's just bring, being so peaceful. It's just like, I don't know, and when you're watching these videos that I make, I don't know if it gives you a peaceful zen kind of vibe when you watch it, but I know when I'm making them, it makes me feel like I'm in a very peaceful place. You know, I always try to make sure that my, you know, my surroundings, especially when I do my videos, is very, um, you know, peaceful. So, but anyway, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, your pain has a purpose. There is a purpose behind your pain. It is. There is a purpose behind everything that we have to go through. And it's just like we always have those whys, you know. Why do these children have cancer? You know, why do people have to die so young? Why did this person get taken away from me a short time? You know, why did this happen? Why did that happen? And there's always a purpose behind that. You know, we just have to really dig deep. Dig deep and look at the situation that you're in. And I know there is there is some times well, we'll be in a situation and it's just like, you know, I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask to be in this situation. This and this and that happened. And I fell short of this. You know, I, I don't know what you're going through. But I know what you're going through is not easy. That's one thing I can tell you. It's not easy what you're going through. But you have to look at it, the situation in a different perspective. You know, and, and sometimes... I know you probably be on social media and you'll probably see posts and it says, you know, your best, your, you know, your worst failures are, they end up being your best stories. And it's true. Our best failures always end up being our best stories because it makes us open our eyes and realize a lot of things that we probably took for granted. And you never know why, you know, I, I can't tell you the reason why it's happened because I don't know your situation, but you know, you know. You know, you probably know, and it's you probably don't know, but until you actually seek, you know, and look at your situation from a different light, because there's some, you know, when we go through things, we will look at it in such a negative way, like, you know, I didn't ask for this, or, you know, why is this happening to me? You know, I'm, I'm a good person. You know, we always, and it seems like the best people go through the worst situations, and it's like the people that cause the much, much hell, they're able to sleep good. And it's like that sometimes, and we might see it that way, but you never know. It's probably, you know, and we'll feel that way, like the person that's causing us problems are able to sleep well. Trust me, they're not. <laughs> they're not, because they wouldn't be working that hard just to get up under your skin. They, they, or, they, you know, especially when it comes to people, when it comes to situations like that. When it comes to situations, because a lot of people that, you know, I know have gravitated towards me has probably been in some kind of abuse or you know it, it been towards it gravitated towards a, a narcissistic person or you know you never know what your situation might uphold I don't know but it's just that we always have to look at it in a different perspective and it's just like when I, I look at my situation and my ego side my you know your pride will always wish that maybe I, if I would have did this differently this wouldn't have happened or if I would have did that differently this may be what it happened every head everything has a purpose on on the reason why it happened the way it did and it's just like sometimes we feel like 
you know, is this situation, you know, I'm not supposed to be here. I used to always say that. People used to look at me crazy. Because when they were like, what do you mean you're not supposed to? I'm, this is not the life I was supposed to have. You know, and I felt that way. But then I look at my situation and I'm just like, wow, if I never went through these pains, I would have never knew I was a Hayoka. I would have never knew that I was an indigo, twin flame, INFJ, you know, white witch, whatever. I would have never found out all these great gifts that I had. So it, my tragedy has brought about, you know, brought about some promising things and gifts I didn't even know I was aware of that I had. I know there were certain places that I wouldn't go or I would see certain things attached to certain people or I would see spirits around people or I would even hear them when other people didn't. But I just thought, you know, if I say this, you know, people might think I'm crazy. You know, and bad enough it is, I had family members help, telling me, oh, you're crazy when you think things like that. And it's not. It's just certain people are prone to gifts like that. And there's just a lot of people that see things and they try to shove it off like, oh, okay, I'm going to just say it was this, you know, the wind or it's just the house settling or whatever. But when you're able to recognize your gift and you're just like, wow, you know, you know, there's some people out here homeless and some people, you know, they, they can tell the most amazing stories and it makes you just look at your life like, well, dang, you know, I, I really don't have much to be, you know, I might not like the, you know, what I ate yesterday, but these people are trying to fight, trying to figure out they wouldn't care what they ate as long as they put something in their stomach. But it's just like when we get put in a situation like that and then we look at somebody else's situation i guarantee you, you're going to be a lot grateful for the situation you're in than listen to somebody else's story it makes you a lot grateful and it's just you know a lot you know a lot more grateful about it but it, it's just like you have to really look at pain in the situation that you're going through and i know it, it has to be hard and you know you're going to eventually get through this because you have got through so many other things and it's just you know, we'll just say, you know, the pain is so unbearable. I don't want to deal with it. But the point is, there's a reason behind that because we have to be able to deal with it. If you have to kick and scream and, you know, as long as you're not beating up on somebody, but just let that go. And then you'll know there's, there's a, you know, there's a purpose behind everything you have. And it's just like when, when it comes to anybody and you feel like, you know, they're getting, they're getting away with things and, you know, they're doing this and this and that to me. Trust me, when you start praying on, praying for the people that do you wrong, God will put them in so many different predicaments and they'll know, they'll know the reason why they're going through the things they're going through. You just pray for those people that are put through the situation that you're in, especially when it comes to that. But I'm not trying to hold you up today, but it's just, I'm just trying to, you know, open up awareness for people that are going through things. It's just when we're put in our situations and it's a tough situation, it's sometimes it can be hard and you don't understand where this road's leading you. But trust me, there's a reason why you're on that path. And just remember that. And I will see you on my next video. I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. I hope you've been responsible and safe in everything you do. I will keep you in my prayers, and I hope you definitely keep me in yours. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Drop me a line or two. I love the positive feedback, and I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And I will see you next time. Peace and be wild.